Hello everybody, welcome in NetContractor's blog. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate Cisco Secure Access Control System 5.3 with user external database based on Microsoft Active Directory. Here you are three main steps that needs to be done to successfully achieve connectivity between ACS and AD. I will present you how to configure Windows Server 2008. I will present you also how to configure ACS to support Active Directory and we will test whole environment based on the Cisco router and I will configure AAA support at this router. Whole environment is fully virtualized so Windows Server and Cisco ACS is based on VMware platform. Cisco router will be simulated based on Dynamics. Here you are three main tasks that need to be configured at Windows Server Windows Server needs to be synchronized with external time source based on NTP. My server is already configured, but I will present you the step-by-step -step procedure how to achieve it. Second step is to create security group at Active Directory where you can place specific users that will have later on a specific uh, privileges, for example, to log into the specific group of um, routers. Last step is to create a user and assign users to, to create it before security group. Here you are six main tasks that needs to be done at Cisco ACS. The same like at Microsoft Active Directory server, you have to synchronize ACS with time server using NTP. Okay, so keep in mind that in case ACS and Active Directory are not properly synchronized and have 5 second difference in time, then ACS will not be able to establish connection to Active Directory and you'll get error. So at the step 2 you have to configure DNS server to successfully resolve the main controller IP address. Both steps, so first one and second one, needs to be done at command line. At third step you have to define Active Directory connection and security group mapping. At step 4 you have to define shared profile. At step 5 you have to define access policy. We'll use a default one and we'll, we will edit default device admin policy. You have to configure identity and authorization and at the last step you have to define access policy. You have to exactly specify the service selection rule. Okay, so I already present you the configuration steps to successfully establish connection between ACS and AD. Now I'm going to show you configuration in detail. First step uh, at AD is to synchronize time with NTP server. We have to log into primary domain controller and open command prompt. Second step is to stop the time service using netstop w32time command. We have to configure the external time source using the same command, so W32TM. At step 4 we have to make our PDC as a reliable time source for client. At step 5 we have to start time service. And at step 6 we can verify if server has been properly configured and synchronization has been placed. Ok, so first step done. Step 2 and 3 we will configure at Active Directory Users and Computers Console. Ok, so let me open Active Directory Virtual Machine. I've already created Cisco Global Security Group for Network Administrators and I'm going to place John Smith user as a member of this group. So I assign Cisco Group to user John Smith and already John Smith is a member of Cisco Group. Based on Active Directory Security Group you are able to define specific policy at ACS and assign for example login privilege just for specific users that reside in Security Group. It's very handy. For example in case you have um, two groups of network administrators and you would like just to assign privilege for one group to log on to a specific group of network devices just for one and for second one group 
a specific uh, login privilege for, for another group of network devices. So besides NTP configuration uh, and assign user to a specific group, that's all at the Microsoft Active Directory. Here you are three commands that need to be configured from ACS's command line. First, you have to specify time zone. Important is the structure of time zone definition. We are using clock time zone command, and next we have to define continent slash city. Second command is to configure NTP server. So NTP server and IP address of a NTP server. The last command is to configure DNS server. Okay, so let's open the ACS command line and log on to the um, ACS. Here we are. Let's show the configuration. Here you are three the most important commands um, regarding Active Directory <laughs> and ACS. So the DNS server, time zone, and NTP server. Let's see if time has been successfully synchronized. So show NTP shows us the primary NTP server that ACS has been successfully synchronized with NTP server. Synchronize, synchronize to NTP server means successfully synchronized and start means that um, ACS has been synchronized with NTP server. So pretty much the same like on the router. The clock should be fine. Okay, let's see if I'm able to properly resolve the domain controller. Yeah, here we are. So the main controller is res is responding to the um, to pink. So pretty much that's all. So three commands and just testing. That's all for our command line. Other tasks needs to be configured from web management interface. So let's jump to the web management. First step at ACS web management interface is to configure the connection to AD. We have to go under users and identity stores and under, under external identity stores we've got Active Directory. Here we have to specify our Active Directory domain name. In my, in my example it's netcontractor.pl. Now we have to specify credentials used to join machine to Active Directory. I'm using domain admin account. In my case, it's administrator. I have to put password and now we can test the connection to AD. As you see, test connection to netcontractor.pl domain has been successfully established. Now we can save changes. During this time, ACS machine will be added to Active Directory using administrator account. So let Let's save changes. It takes around 30 to 40 seconds, so I'll be back once the connection will be established. I'm back. As you see, connectivity status is now connected. Additionally, we have two new tabs, directory groups and directory, t directory attributes. Now we can select security group from our active directory. So I'm looking for Cisco, here we are, OK, and Cisco group has been added. Later on we will use this group as a reference point for authorization during, cre during creation of access policy. So now we have to save changes again. From the Active Directory perspective, that's all.